Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I did not end up spending time in creative mode, but I did have a, what I'll call a shower thought about how to build this, and we're going to start by getting rid of everything here. Now my thought is, this seems to mine a lot slower than the deep core mining drill on Novice. It's only 5.2 a second. Probably gets increased with mining productivity. So I need less of these. And what I think what I'd like to do is, since I do plan on using multiple deep core mining drills as I progress most likely um, mining this out into the two different resources on site and then having a more centralized location for the deep core fragments so the cryonite will be on a belt and then the, the core fragments that need to go through pulverizers again will be made somewhere else. That is my idea, and let's see. Already negative nine, it's gonna be about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be fine, that is... That's a yellow belt. A yellow belt of cryonite, slightly more gonna be great it's gonna be fine so I'm actually gonna just reverse this and kind of just build my own version of this specific for cryonite there we go now these are red belts but you know kind of Kind of whatever. Hmm. I don't really like that. I could do that. We'll do this. Then this. So, the cryonite, let's see, I can turn it into cryonite powder, it's gonna get me sand. Do I have assembly machines here? I do. These do not build the rods. What builds the rods? Let's just check the thing here. Type cryonite. Look at this again. Are they the industrial furnaces? Cryonite powders made in mechanical facilities and pulverizers. Cryonite crystal. Is made from powder and steam. Okay. The rod is made from powder and crystal and heavy oil. The ion exchange is made with the cryonite rods. Okay. That will probably just be made in space. And then the slush is used. It uses a rod and sulfuric acid. So the last two don't really matter. So I need powder and crystals to make rods. Interesting. We want to start by... All right. Rods are made in the industrial furnaces. Let's get start getting our ratios. I'm going to pick up some industrial furnaces. Real quick here. 
They're making 24 a minute. Four is 96, 1.6 a second. Three point two. That's needing six point four of each. Oh, so it's double, right? Okay. And this is theoretically producing fifteen. So at about a consumption of seven point one each. I'm almost there. This is eight. Okay, so at 8 a second, I'm producing 4. That's if that ratio is correct. Let's pick out a pulverizer and see. One, it's one to one. One cryonite, one cryonite powder. Okay. All right, I'm back. I might. All right, I'm back. I might sound a little different. I moved the microphone and changed my posture. Uh, let's see. Here, cryonite. It was one cryonite ore. It can get turned into one cryonite powder. So if I'm turning half of the cryonite or into cryonite powder. No, I need to turn it all into cryonite powder. And then some of it, some of the powder can be changed into crystal. And then they can be combined into the rods. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, ten. Ten for the first one. So I'm going to want to set these up so I can expand them. So it's going to be, I think, a lot of lines or, like, rows and columns. Uh, so, like, when I add another deep core mining drill, I can just add, like, four more machines onto that. Four more, four more industrial furnaces to bring the total number up to 14 or however many I need. And then same thing with the crushing. So I'm going to want centralized crushing, centralized crystal making, centralized rod making. So let's get working on that. I'm going to be picking up so much stone while I'm here. Just these two is going to be 16. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to do it quite like that. I'm going to... Where's my... Oh, there we go. I'm going to do it like this. That's how we will do it. Gonna want two a second. A fast inserter, a fast inserter will be able to handle that no problem. Let's go in, in. I'll have them pick up in the same place. It'll be fine. Now these need to move in one. Or I'd like them to. Because I will be doing things like this. It might just be easier to just make everything red belt. 
and it will be easier because these these take uh, modules. And the modules can increase productivity and whatnot. Which I don't know if I'm going to use or not, but I can only put 7.5 on a side per belt. And I'm already putting more than half of that with each inserter. Plus, it's going to be two machines. Right? Yeah, so they have to be red belts. Because this is four. And this one's also four. We'll just make it a red belt. Now, because there seems to be so much material... I think what I want to do is have a filter inserter here. For the powder. I feel like I'm really overthinking it. Whatever I'm build, I'm gonna find some way of like disliking it. Maybe I should just do two. That'd be way easier. It's still far enough away. How long does this process take? It needs one point. Three seconds? Pick up four cryonite? we am done with regular inserters. How will I power this though? That's... If I go like that, can this power pole reach? Nope. Now this doesn't need 15, 5, so I can use yellow here. But then there be a simple way of doing this rather than having to build a to ratio where you just take an inserter, split it by 50%. And then you can split that 50% again, and that'll give you your 75% from your total. So, like... I'll just move it over three tiles to give myself some room. Now, if I do need to add another row, let's... Let's just do that. I'm 
make sure I have enough space. I moved it over four more. The third one, if I had one, would come up like this. And I do need to redo this section here. Uh, but I won't worry about that. I build one of these. No, nope, wrong one. I already have the sand. I can turn some of it into landfill glass and pyroflux. I could just store it for now. They do not need that kind of chest. It would be this chest. And then if I want to take it out, I've got the room to do that. And ship it somewhere else. Excellent. Does it need to be an assembler? It does. That's fine. I can add more as needed, more storage as needed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, but because of how I have the belts balanced, it shouldn't matter. And this is where I realized I had no output. Let's try this. There's overlap. Can I cut out this middle one? No. But I could potentially just put it here and have it do full coverage. This is going to produce more than what I need, but we'll be fine.
Okay. Here's my powder. And here are my crystals. Probably loop it back around. Uh, industrial furnaces. Maybe I'll just go down. Rather than continuing to jet out. I want to make the rod. It's going to need heavy oil. Two inputs. Which, which at this point can actually just be something like this. And... guess I can put and I guess I can just do something like this which can serve uh, eight or four at a time that I uh, can't flip it because of the pipes, but and then I could just, uh, if I move this over on the inside one, my output belt be here, and that's good enough. Me. Wait, if I put these on a yellow belt, they can't even work right. Because the yellow can only do 7.5. Okay. Why don't I do that? That'll be easier. Yeah, and then what? Do something like this. Last row again. A lot of stuff needs power over here. I just need the heavy oil to come over here. How much heavy oil a second is this going to use? Four. So I need the heavy oil. And the other two ingredients are here. I need the water and the steam. 
24 steam. Oh, there's little bits of water here. I really want to just create like a little something. A little something here. I build this here. I could build it here. Oh, but here would be better, I think. Maybe back one. Making 165 degree steam. This can be that. I need pumps. bunch of pumps. Jesus, just didn't see them. Okay. So this pump activates... No. Would that work? Or would the water need to come? The water might need to come from this tank. Here we go. This looks like it would work. That'll pump all the time. This will only pump if water is below a thousand to maybe just five thousand. If water is greater than 5,000, if water, if water is less than 5,000, and this one just goes all the time. That should work. Okay. The last thing I need to bring over here is the heavy oil. Let's get that working. Try and turn it on this episode. Eight spaces over should be fine. Let's grab a stack of refineries. And put that and that back. Those are the three types of oil, right? Petroleum, advanced, and crude. Alright. So this makes a crap ton of heavy oil. I think this is just going to be built a little differently. We're going to do it like this.
Now, in case I need to add more refineries, I can do that, but... I suppose... Based of where these are... I brought it up. That's ah, fine. light oil will stop it before this fills up. What do I want to use the other oils for? I suppose I'm not going to be able to get it up and running this episode. Because I'm, I'm going to need to figure out what I need to use the petroleum for and what I need to use the light oil for. And I currently uh, don't quite know yet, which means I'm going to need to set up other things. So I might want to set up, in the next episode, I'm going to set up the smelting uh, for iron, copper, get stone and glass, and then work on the things I'll need for rocket fuel. Right, because I need to be able to make... I don't have to... I guess I don't have to make space capsules. But I need to make the cargo rocket sections, and I need to make liquid rocket fuel. And in order to make those here, uh, I will need, like, petroleum products. I think I'll need red circuits, plastic... Sulfur for the heat shielding. All that sort of stuff. And that's where I think my plastic is going to go. So I'm going to work on setting those up. In the next episode. Because I don't think I can do it now. But. ah, You know what? I'm just going to keep you guys in suspense. I'm not going to turn this on yet. You'll just have to wait till I get around to turning the whole base on at the same time. I think that's what I want to try and do. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.